Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yasmin. If you are new here, welcome. I am a reseller on platforms like eBay and Poshmark. I'm also a stay-at-home mom, obviously, because I'm doing my reselling business from home. And so today I have another Goodwill outlet thrift haul for you. And I did end up purchasing about 82 items that came to about $39.39. And when I went in my last visit, they were having 50% off. So that means that I only paid about 48 cents per item, which is by far the lowest ever. It is awesome. You might as well say that it was a free item so I paid under 50 cents so I already listed some items that I will be showing you just from a picture just because I already put that item away and I don't feel like going and digging for it and taking it out and you know so I will be showing you a picture of each item that I did listed already which is a total of about 20 items already listed from this haul and I'm also keeping 11 of these items. They are personal, like office supplies, toys for my baby, some clothing, and etc. So in this haul, I should be um, sharing about 71 items for you again under 50 cents from my last visit to the Goodwill. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started now. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the items that are already listed on eBay and Poshmark. The first item that I listed was this new attacks Bloom Chick Knotted Waisted Front Dress, very beautiful. Honestly, the only reason that I picked it up was because it was new attacks, and since spring and summer is approaching, I thought this would be a really good, nice dress to have for this upcoming summer and spring. So that's the only reason that I picked it up. It only retail for about $26, so not a whole lot, but I do have it on sale for about $19 on Poshmark. So I just thought it was just a nice little dress to have for the summer. And then the next item that I listed was this men's new tag. Now I don't know how to pronounce the name of this brand, but I will put it here on the description on my screen here. Um, I think it's like Jack's or I, I don't know. But the reason I picked this up again, it was because it was new tags and I just thought that it was a really nice sweater for men. Um, not a, it's not an exciting, it doesn't have exciting fabrics. It is polyester bland, but I just thought that it was a really nice, warm looking fleece type of sweater. And I don't really pick up a whole lot of men's clothing. So I thought that um, this would be a nice addition. And I know that we are starting to get away from the winter. And so maybe buying sweaters is not um, a good idea. However, you know, par there's other places in the country that are colder still that I thought that maybe it would be a good selection for them. And then the other item that I listed, I do have it handy. And this is an interesting item uh, because it does retail for a whole lot if you look at the website. Now this is a vintage exclusively um, Mishuk, Mishuk, I'm not, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's this really nice and uh, long uh, shirt. Um, it, it does have openings on the side. I really picked it up because of the pattern. I thought it was a really nice pattern, um, but it is vintage. And why do I say that? Because I think that this brand used to be called exclusively uh, Miss, Miss Sook. I will <laughs> write the name here because I don't know how to pronounce it. It is in a size large, but they changed their name to just Miss Hook, Miss Sook, just to kind of keep it simple. So they removed the exclusive. But I think if you go to their website, Misuk, um, they do retail for a whole lot. I did see items that were about $295, um, over $200 items. But again, this is like their older label, so it does not retail for a whole lot. But I still thought it was a really nice piece to pick up. Um, again, new with tags. 
and again it's not a brand that is sought out it's just by andrew uh, mark i picked it up because it was new with tags and it's literally like a suede pairs of pants they're like skinny and i mean this is probably better for the winter for colder i'm or spring or fall but um again it is just just like a suede material just thought that they were really really cute and i picked them up again because they were new with tags i do tend to pick up a lot of new with tags do pay attention to the design and if it's a nice like it has a nice print or it's nice material i will pick it up now these are probably not sought out but again a lot of people like to buy things new if they can this is nothing special but it is a simple um banana republic dolman sleeve pink blouse in a size medium now the reason i picked this up again it was because it's new with tags and they are still um on sale on their website but not for this color anymore i think this was last year i think this is a style that was in 2020 i believe 20 or 21 i can't remember i did see oh last year last fall of 2021 so they don't have this color it's like a nice like light petal pink beautiful it's got that v-neck at the front just thought it was super super cute and i think i have this already listed maybe i'm thinking i might get anywhere from 25 dollars 20 to 25 dollars and then the other item that i listed already on on both ebay and poshmark were this adidas uh, they call them crazy shadow basketball adidas shoes for men in a size eight and a half i believe let me make sure yeah no, no i mean in a size eight the reason i picked them up is because uh, i just picked them up based on the style honestly i don't know how much they retail brand new i am selling them for about 30 dollars. i do expect to get maybe around 25 dollars for these which is not a whole lot considering that i only paid a 48 cents per item and then the other items that i picked up were also accessories i picked up a, a ralph lauren um 100 genuine leather belt and then like a vintage uh tool leather belt that had like the mayan temple from mexico and then a reversible uh, brown and black leather it was unbranded but the fact that it was 100 leather that's why i picked it up and another belt that i picked up was a michael kors women's brown genuine leather now it does not look in any way shape or form used it does have a little bit of creasing at the center of the belt on both sides but other than that it is in like mint condition and i am selling that um i think about 35 dollars or so so i'm saying that it's new without tags because like i said it looks a brand new and i think they did have like a little piece of a sticker um but it was like torn out so and then i also recently just sold another belt i think it was unbranded but it was like a western belt embossed design um in a size 42 and i love 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 the design that was outside again 100 percent uh leather and that sold pretty fast i think within a few days of being listed someone sent me an offer for 20 dollars, and i thought that was a reasonable offer so I did end up making about about $13.32. I did offer a shipping discount. So that's why it came down to a profit about $13.32. Again, minus the 48 cents. So whatever that is. The other pair of shoes that I listed on eBay was, were these Sam Elderman women's Griffin saddle leather fringe shoes i thought they were so adorable they were actually in pretty good condition and it's funny this was on one bin and i happened to find it on a different bin i mean they were far apart and i'm just so happy to um have found it because i was literally just carrying around one shoe in hopes that i would find it and i did end up finding it 
Now, when I saw this pair of shoes, I did end up buying myself a pair from another uh, Poshmark seller in my size because this, these were in a size, uh, I believe 10. I'm in a size seven, so I did buy this same pair of shoes for myself because I just love, loved it. Again, I'm going on a trip to Florida in April, and so I thought this would be a cool pair of shoes to take to Florida. And then I also picked up uh, these Vans Ward Off suede canvas mint in a mint green color, but there was like a little stain at like the top of the shoe. Other than that, they were in pretty good condition. I did, I do pick up Vans, um, not a whole lot, but I do pick them up if I think they are, they're pretty nice. These were in a size eight and a half. And, and then I also found these Tommy Bahamas Men's Anchor Brown leather shoes or sandals that I thought were so neat. And these were, I think they're selling just about everywhere, about around the $40 range. I'm hoping to get about uh, anywhere from $30 to $35 for these. So again, I only spent about 48 cents per item. So I definitely have a lot of wiggle room for negotiation. And then I also picked up these nice Steve Madden women's da da mink. I don't know how to pronounce this type of style, but it's like these nice brown sandals. I do have them listed already on both eBay and Poshmark um, in about, um, I think around $30 or so. And then I found another pair of Steve Madden. Um, they call them like Edna wedge sandal and super, very, very nice. The only thing that they did have a little bit of flaws. They did have like a small like nail puncture in the insole and it did have a, a few like scratches so those are the only flaws you won't see it when you wear it they are in a size nine i believe super nice and i got them listed on there for about about thirty dollars or so and then i also picked up these bandolino women's in a size eight and a half and like a beige gold open toe they're like in a block heel they were in they're actually in really really good condition of course there's a little bit of signs of wear on on the outsole of course when you're walking on the streets and you do pick up some dirt that's pretty normal but other than that these shoes were in really really good condition i picked them up based on style um they just look so comfortable because they got that thick block and then they have that nice like strap around the the um, leg and so i just thought they were so cute i only have those around no more than 25 dollars it's not a huge brand you know bandolino i'm still hoping to make at least around twenty dollars for them or so and then i did pick these tom's um avalon slip-on shoes i don't normally like to pick up tom's but i just love this they call them like a raspberry tribal uh woven shoes so i thought they were so cute so that's the only reason i picked them up they do retail for about sixty dollars and i am selling them for about twenty five dollars so let's see how those do and i don't like to pick these up but i also picked them up because they would they were in excellent condition and they just looked like really really nice so i picked these grasshopper ortholide um, they're like a comfort shoes. I don't know how to pronounce that word, but I'll write it down here. <laughs> so I picked these up based on style again. Very nice fabric material on the outside. They look very comfortable. They're in a size eight. And I think I have those um, for about $25 also on both eBay and Poshmark. And then I think lastly, these were one of my favorite ones because I am thinking about keeping them but i am still kind of thinking about it but i picked the pick these neutralizers and i normally don't pick up neutralizers but the the pattern of this the just the design of these shoes i just thought they were so nice so i picked these they call them the berlin um, espadrille fabric shoes or wedges and super super cute they got like a like a flower on the front of the shoe they're open toe just really really nice and 
festive. That's the only reason I picked them up. I do have them on sale for about $25, which is not a lot. It's actually a really great deal. And they're actually in really, really good condition. So that's the only reason I picked those up based on style. They look very, like I said, carnivalish, very festive. So that is the reason. And that is all for the things that I already listed online from this thrift haul. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on now. I wanna say coats and, and scarf and stuff like that. So the first, well, I did pick up nothing special. I did pick up a brand new um, pajama set that is still on a box. I might list this maybe for like $15 or something. Um, this is, I don't even know why I picked this up, but I guess if there's any like, um, what is this, Kentucky? I'm sorry, I don't know anything about, yeah, if this looks familiar, uh, yeah. I found two of these. Well, the other one was a little different. This was the Steelers, so for any Steelers fan, I don't know if this is a scarf or just like, I don't know, I don't know, but I will consider this maybe a scarf or something. Um, maybe around, I probably sell these for about $25 to $30 a piece or each one, I'm sorry, because they're from different um, universities or player. And honestly, I also pick this up because it was brand new with tags. The brand I call, I guess it's called Infinity Scarf from, from DNLA Apparel. And honestly, it's just a basic, I just, the reason I picked it up, look at, look at it. So it's got, a really nice pattern but then also it has knit so it's like a blend of knitting and just thought it was really cute the material it's 100% acrylic so I guess it's okay I just thought it was really really cute so this was definitely a style pickup now this is gonna be interesting so I found this let me see, make sure her face is in the right direction. I pick up this uh, Taylor Swift comforter. Hope you can see it. And I think when I looked up the comps on eBay and just in general, this little comforter is really selling for about $300. I saw, like I said, I saw $300 somewhere around $200 so and it's in excellent condition and very very cute it's got these little cute fringes here just thought it was really really cute and I'm actually excited because again the comms are seem really good for that particular item I also picked this up really it's called a baby on honestly this is not a luxury brand at least i don't think so pick this up because it is new with tags and it's just really super nice a little scarf here like a looks very furry i don't think it's real fur it doesn't even say but i don't think that it is a real fur i have to do a little bit more research um, on this it doesn't really say but I just thought it was such a cute little fur scarf for anybody who likes fur and I shouldn't even be showing you but I found these new QVC new tags like spandex anyways QVC cute just cute new tags nothing special now this, these two coats were just one of my favorite pickups, honestly. I found this Anthropology. Hope you can see. Anthropology, super nice, colorful coat. The material is, it, it's a very heavy, heavy coat and i think it says so this is a cotton blend so it's got cotton it's got 
35% cotton, 28% silk, and 21% polyester, some rayon. So it's like a mixture of, of different fabrics. Just beautiful, and it is in a size medium. And I am thinking about keeping this just because I just love the knit material. The colors are just fantastic. It's got a nice little pocket here. I may list it, I may not. It does have like, because it is a knit material, I mean, they are, you know, sometimes they, they get a little bit of like pulling of the material, but it's a fantastic heavy coat. Or, so, or yeah, like it's a pretty heavy little coat. And I was debating so much about this coat. It's, I don't even know the brand, the, brand is called Dawn Levy and I think the reason I picked this up again it's like a I don't want to say it's a double breasted but it just comes across here just thought it was such a beautiful piece and the reason I picked it up if I'm not mistaken it's because it was wool 70% of wool so this is definitely a really high quality coat uh, for the time of the year it might sit till next winter I mean we're still in the winter who cares it's still a great coat so I am really excited just to pick up wool cashmere and things like that so now I'm gonna go ahead and get on with the other pieces of clothing that I picked up and I'm gonna start out with this in every haul I'm always like I don't ever want to pick up Ralph Lauren. I don't want to pick up Ralph Lauren, but Ralph Lauren, it is like a bread and butter for Millie. Although it does sit for me, it sells eventually. So the reason I picked up this, um, in particular, this Ralph Lauren, I think it's for men's. But the reason I picked it up, it's because it's 100% cotton, number one. Number two, it is a vintage piece. Like this is, look at their tag. This is a super old, old, old tag. And it doesn't look like there's like a whole lot of wear. Just thought that it was a nice vintage piece. And it's even got, you know, Polo Jeans Company, Ralph Lauren. New York and it's got some numbers in here just a very old um, vintage piece here so definitely I was yeah that's one of the reasons I did not want to live leave this behind I'm gonna try to move quickly because I know I've been talking forever so I picked this it's by Carolyn Strauss honestly I picked this up because it's new with tags I love the gold and black pattern i just thought it was like a nice little party shirt like a very formal shirt you can wear um, under a blazer and that is the reason you see all the shimmer that's the reason that i picked this up and it doesn't tell me how much it costs but i just thought it was a nice piece so sometimes i pick up things based on style and this is by adriana papel picked it up because it's in really excellent excellent condition I feel like the camera is like when I show things here it's like changes the color but if I show it this side it like does better maybe I need to close my blinds I don't know so pick this up based on style Adriana Papel not someone I like to pick up a whole lot but the reason I did pick it up it's because it's 100% silk so that's something to look for um, and it's in a size of 14. Definitely looks very formal. Again, 100% silk. That is the reason I picked it up. And aside that it has a nice style. And then this is definitely a novelty print here, like a zebra or print. And it's by Sandro, Sandro Sports. And I think this is also like a little high end brand but I don't think that their active wear or their sports wear is as high end as their normal sandal. But I still picked it up because again, beautiful, beautiful pattern and beautiful, um, it's got this, you know, 
tie at the front, some really nice, huge buttons there. So I just thought it was really, really cute. So, and it is 97% cotton and 3% elastine. So it's definitely very stretchy in a size large. Very beautiful. Definitely, definitely love it. And I think this is like a, if I'm not mistaken, I, I'm starting, to, I'm still trying to get myself familiar with different brands, but um, this is by Sophie um, Eokin. I'll make sure to put the name of the brand here because I don't think, but this dress here, hope you can see, it's just a very basic piece, but it was selling for $345 and then I guess they try to sell it for about $100 in a size 4 and the reason why I'm thinking it's because it's 100% silk again so silk awesome it's got these cute little front pockets here it's very soft interesting um, neck area here stretchy on the waist here is in a size four again so i'm not sure i have to see how much this is retailing um but it looks like it was a pretty high-end brand even if it's a boutique the fact that it's 100 silk i'm just excited and this is just calvin klein i picked it up based on style you know i love picking up a lot of whites and just very basic pieces very nice this is polyester and spandex so i literally just picked this up based on style excellent condition it literally looks new just thought it was very cute for the summer so and then these i thought they were so interesting so this is like a wide leg wide leg dressy pants they're called pretty little thing I've never heard of the brand. I literally picked it up because I love the sequins. I love the shimmer. I just thought they were such cute party pants that I could not let these behind. I couldn't leave these behind. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't know how much I'm going to list those for, but maybe $45 I'm thinking. And then this is just a basic piece by Talbot. I picked it up just because again it's a very basic piece it's 100% cotton so really really nice I love the detail buttons right there detail there round neck just thought it was super cute all right and then this is a K Celine pick this up based on style as as well it's like an open and I think it's cotton as well if I'm not mistaken well, it feels and it looks like cotton and it may be cotton, but I picked it up based on style. Super cute, you know, can wear something light um, under and looks like, I don't know, something that you can take on a nice little trip somewhere warm. That is Victoria's Secret in a size medium. I honestly picked this based on style. Now, like, look at the cute um, details at the front the v-neck is very very it's like a very like long v-neck and it's open super cute so I'm thinking uh, I'm thinking maybe around $35 for this or so I don't know it just depends that's just kind of a uh, guess here but I picked it up based on the style I don't think I've seen those at Victoria's Secret. It's called I Madeline. Pick this up based on the novelty print here. It's got an anchor with some dots and it's a tie front so you tie this at the front. It's very lightweight so I thought it was such a cute cute shirt. I don't know if it doesn't sell by the time I go to Florida, I might just end up stealing this or borrowing this from my closet because it's such a cute piece. And this is by Ann T Taylor. I picked this up based on style as well. Just thought it was a nice little style here, print, like a uh, 
I think you call it like peacely, breathable shirt here. Just thought it was really pretty. So I don't know, maybe around $25 for that. And I think this is also an Ann Taylor, yes, in a size 8. Picked it up based on the color. I love all of the colors, the pinks, the yellow, the, I don't know, very light salmon color and white. It's just very, very beautiful, beautiful summer dress. So it is 62% cotton. It's got nylon, so it's like a cotton blend. So very pretty. And it's also light, so it was perfect for like a cocktail, for like a barbecue party or something. And this is nothing special, but I did pick these up because, so they retail for $36, but honestly I picked it up because they're brand new with tags. And now with the summer approaching, I thought that some swim trunks for men is a good piece to have. And also I love that they have like a zipper pocket in the back. Just very cute, huh? Interesting. But yeah, that's the only reason I picked it up. I don't pick up a whole lot of men clothing, so hopefully this is essential as the summer is coming. Sorry, cozy, casual. Never heard of the brand, but I just thought that it was a really nice dress for the summer. Again, new with tags. And it's 65% cotton, so it's like a cotton blend and it's got like the tie at the front as well just thought it was a really really nice piece very lightweight perfect for the summer as well so oh my goodness this is something i would love to wear to florida just because of the material it just feels very airy v-neck there so i don't know maybe i'll list this I, this i'm just guessing because i haven't even done my homework as far as comps but maybe around $35 is always kind of like a good prediction, I guess. And this is just by, by Hollister in a size medium. I literally picked this up based on style. Again, like look how cute this is. It almost looks like a uh, corset, but it's not. Super, super cute and adorable for the upcoming summer very dressy too it looks dressy so you can wear those with like some nice white jeans just thought it was a cute piece and then this is by torrid and this is just a picked it up based on the floral again another style based in a size zero i don't know what that equals to in torrid sizes super cute uh, spaghetti straps very very cute so i'm paying attention to those summer pieces now and this is by the brand code it's in a size large it's another cotton blend it's got acrylic it's got cotton and spandex i'm just trying to figure out if this is it looks like it's for kids i picked it up based on style and it's new with tags simple piece and i was excited to find um I think it's by Free People, but it's We The Free. It's this long, long sleeve dress. Really pretty. Very, very pretty. Very airy, very light, lightweight, like you can almost see here. So it's long sleeve dress. And really, really pretty. I wish I can find the size, but I'm gonna have to figure it out. I'm gonna have to just do measurements and kind of go from there and it's so cute because it picks up from the front so it's like shorter at the front and longer on the back very lightweight perfect for the summer or spring and then i picked this other brand it's called airy i normally would not pick this brand up but i just thought it was an, again another beautiful piece for this upcoming summer and I love picking up creams and whites just because they're just very um, neutral colors that you can dress them up with just about anything. Very, very versatile colors. So, And then I pick this up just because it's new with tags. 
It is by the brand Sag Harbor. It's probably not a, it's not, it's not a sought out uh, brand, but I picked it up again based on the prints. Just very nice, beautiful floral prints, and it's got these nice design here and you tie it at the front and just thought that was so cute you see the buttons here so let's see let's see how much this retail it does not have a retail price but it is in a size large so so pretty for a if you go on vacation and you just need something and this is by the brand my michelle Never heard of it. Again, picked it up based on style. Look at this cute back. You tie it in the back, you tie it at the front. You can wear like a nice, you know, shirt underneath. It's mainly cotton, so 98% cotton and 2% spandex. So very, really, really good quality uh, material there in a size medium. So makes me want to keep it, you know, since I am going on vacation, makes me want to keep it normally I don't pick this brand up in fact I never picked this brand up but it was new with tags it does retail let's see well it does not retail for a whole lot but it's called pink rose just picked it up based on style so it's just a nice like a salmon color dress love the straps here very very pretty just very I'm thinking this is maybe, so it's definitely a dress that goes above the knee, but very pretty, very perfect for the summer. Again, new with tags, so I have to do a little bit more research to see, but I'm thinking I could probably sell this maybe for around, I don't know, $16, $15 or so. so I just realized that this shirt looks almost like that skirt, but it's from H&M size extra large. I picked it up because it's also new with tags. It's only $14.99 but i just love the pattern again as we are approaching the summer and even perfect for the fall when you know leaves start changing color so i picked it up based on style again brand new with tags super cute very lightweight it's 100 cotton so i'm glad i i looked at that it is 100 cotton so definitely good material there that's why i picked it up um, based on the prints and also good material 100 cotton and then this is by Bye Bye, Bye Bye. So Bye Bye. So this is by Bye Bye. I've never heard of the brand. And the reason I picked it up, this is retail for $59. Picked it up, honestly, just because it's brand new with tags. Summer dress. Very, very pretty. Love the floral print. But I did not realize that when I bought it, I'm going to have to take this to my seamstress to try to seal this because I just noticed it when I got it, when I got home, that it did have a rip here. But yeah, I think that is an easy fix and it shouldn't cost me a whole lot, but I could do it myself, but I, I think that my seamstress would do a much better job than I would if I did it myself and I don't want to make it look bad. So <laughs> I'd rather pay a few bucks for her to fix it. So very um, thin straps there, so. A little bit of open on the back it's definitely sleeveless maybe for around $25 I've never heard of this brand but I think that the reason I picked this up is because it is 100% pure cashmere and it's in a size large I believe so very basic piece but again I picked it up because it's 100% cashmere I did buy a box from Jomar of, I think it had maybe like 15 to 20 pieces of wool, but I did pay about $8.50 per item. So I definitely paid a higher cost of goods there. And I still have most of my pieces. Um, I, I have not sold many of those pieces from that Jomar box. So I don't think I will ever buy a wool and cashmere box from Jomar just because the cost of goods does go up a whole lot. And again, I paid 50 cents for this. Remember that first coat that I showed you that is um, wool? I paid 48 cents for it. I paid 48 cents for this. 
But again, it's because I did go a few weeks ago. Goodwill was having a 50% off. So I definitely got this, everything this for like a steal. It's vintage, 100% cotton, um, very vintagey white jeans from Ralph Lauren. The reason I picked it up, it's because it's a 34 and 32. It's a denim, but the reason I picked it up is because it's got their vintage tag. So, so these you will not find anymore. They're in excellent condition. Maybe the person just either gained weight or lost weight. We either gain, we don't fit them, but they're in excellent condition. So I was gonna see if my husband wants them because he loves Ralph Lauren. And then I also picked up a pair of jeans from, I don't know, does this say limited edition? I picked them up because they're just plain white shorts for the summer. Oh, Gap jeans, so they're from Gap. There's Gap jeans, so they're from Gap. So perfect for the summer in a size 28, so size six. Very cute. Uh, women's ankle pants um, they call them what do they call so they're just by Jones New York and this garment has been washed blah 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 blah. okay it's got it so they're brand new with tag they were originally $64 and they're in a size of 14 W 100% cotton so ankle pants and they have the drawstrings at the front. It's got a lot of pocketing on the side. So honestly, that's why I picked it up. Not only they're a plus size, but it's also a very popular style during the summer that I always see women wear and very comfortable. So around $25 for this is my wild guess. And you all know that I did make a closet clear out video where I was selling a lot of cup sheet swimsuits that I no longer wear. And I've been looking for a one piece and I might sell this, but I may not. But I found this brand new with tags, literally brand new with tags, in a size large, brand new with tags, super cute, v-neck. So I might end up keeping this piece. The fit might be a little big, but again, if you're a size small, go medium. If you're a medium, go large, just because anything from China that you buy directly from China, and look, it's brand new. They still have the sticker there. Couldn't believe I found these brand new at the Goodwill outlet, man. You just never know. I might end up keeping these because uh, I, I was looking for a pair, but I might end up listing it. I'm not really sure. I really gotta give it some thought. So we're almost done here. Let me show you just uh, some of the kids' clothes that I found. I found this, I think it's like $20. The brand is called, sometimes I can't read cursive. Cute, 100% organic cotton. I just thought this was so cute. I wanted to get this for my daughter, but this is only ages six to nine months. Just thought it was so cute. It's got the cute little buttons there. Now the only thing is that it is brand new with tags, but it does need a little bit of clean up. So I'm gonna try to clean it up myself. Um, it's got a cute little rabbit right there. Just thought it was so cute. I don't know why they didn't want that. Maybe they were their child, you know, babies just outgrow so fast. Another children's piece, Adidas shirt. I think this is in a size six. So size six for kids. I don't know. On my list is maybe for like $12.99 or something, $13.99, maybe 15 bucks, something like that. And I think I'm just gonna keep this for my daughter. So cute. This is just from Cat and Jack, so a Target brand, I believe. This is a Carter shirt. I might end up keeping this again, but I might not. And the reason I got this was because look what it says. Don't hurry, be happy. Just thought that was so cute. You find like the cutest things ever, man. I did find this Adidas um, hat. 
I have been doing really well with hats. I did make a video, um, a what sold video, I think maybe last month or so, where I sold a bunch of hats. So I do not look over hats, but I think this is a perfect summer hat and it's got, I don't know, sports people, you might know what this is, I don't know, but it's Adidas, it's very cute, summery. So lastly, I pick this, it looks brand new and it doesn't have the tags, but I can tell that it's brand new. It still has like this thing where the tag probably was. That's not from the Goodwill because I, I do need to tear this Goodwill tag here, but it's in excellent condition. It's like in a fabric material. It does say that it's made in the USA. Then it's got a cute little bird design there. One pocket in here, just super cute. Like, like a nice little fabric um, tote very very pretty so so i do have three pairs of shoes that i have not listed yet and i found these okay you guys are gonna laugh but my name is yasmin with the y a s m i n and so these are called jasmine and they are fine leather upper balance made in a size of 33 these are definitely vintage shoes here, like vintage. But I have to find someone who can repair them because both of them are missing whatever heel thing goes there. I don't know what you call it, but excellent condition. Look, in like a suede material. I haven't listed these for the simple fact that I'm trying to figure out where I can get this fixed the cheapest way. Again, I only spend 48 cents for it, so. A lot of room to do what I need to do. And then, just thought that was so cute. Peppa. Girls little shoes. Might keep those for my daughter, might not. And then the last pair of shoes is some uh, Mine Tonka. I do like to pick up this brand. Obviously, they do have a little bit of wear on the inside. I could probably clean them up and a little bit of wear on the outside. But I do like picking this brand up. It does really well for me. It sells pretty fast. They're not in bad condition. I do need to clean them from inside. But just they look so comfortable. So yeah all right guys so finally we've completed this thrift haul i hope you enjoyed this video again i picked up about 82 items but i did keep about 11 so that left me with 71 items to list at only 48 cents a piece so that is the cheapest ever like for real that cannot make me more excited than that so you can pick up items at that price it's unbeatable i wish that the outlet that we have had more premium luxury brands but they don't a lot of times it's mainly mall brands so that can be a little struggle so when i can find things like anthropology or free people or just new with tags i do try to pick them up and they do sell for me believe it or not i also look for fabrics and material making sure they're good quality a lot of times i pick up just something that it's based on style it has a nice novelty print even though it's not you know from a high quality fabric but if it has a nice novelty print i pick it up all right guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if so make sure you give me a thumbs up because that lets me know you enjoy content like this and i can continue making it for you if you haven't done so make sure you subscribe to my channel and join me on my reselling journey i'll see you guys in my next video because obviously i have so much to list my goal is to get to 10 consistently but as of now i've been consistent listing at least five items a day. I hope you guys have a great month this month. Let me know in the comments how it's going so far. Bye-bye.